G'day students, I'm Dr. Price. I'm going to teach you today about how to remember the five times tables. So I've started off writing the five times tables here and I expect you've already looked at them and so you'll know how this pattern goes. We start with 5, 10, 15, then we have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. You can see a pattern, can't you? The number of ones is going 5, 0, 5, 0, 5, 0 all the way. We can continue this 50, 55, 60. And so it would go on and on if we kept on adding 5. So what I want you to think about is why does it keep going 5 and then 0 and 5 and then 0? Well, if you look at your hands, you may get a clue. If you look at the digits, the thumb and the fingers on one hand, of course, there are five of them. If you have a second hand and put it next to it, of course, that makes 10. So every time we have two fives, that makes 10. And so we have these round numbers, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. Every second answer in the five times table is one of those round numbers. And the next number after that has a five on the end. So after 30, we have 35, and then 40, and then the next one is 45, and so on. Here's some 10 frames, and I've started putting some counters out. And this will show us um, the same thing in another way. So here we have 5 and 5, and of course 5 and 5 makes 10. Pairs of 5 makes 10. What if we had another 5? Of course that would make 10 and 5. Let me write some more numbers down. 10 plus 5, and of course that's 15. And so that is going to be our pattern all the way through the 5 times table. Let's look at another way of thinking about this, I'm going to push these together into long columns. So it's not very straight, is it? There we go. Here we have columns of 10. And of course, there are three columns. How many are three tens? Of course, three tens make 30. What if I removed half of them? down here. Now we have five in a column and there are still three columns. What are three fives? So this is one of our times tables or number facts. Three fives must be half of the 30 that we start started with. And of course, half of 30 is 15. So another way of thinking about the five times tables is to think what is half the number of 10. So let me show you what I mean. Supposing we had 6 times 5. And we said, what is 6 times 5? What would 6 times 10 be equal to? 6 times 10, of course, is 60, because that's what we call 6 tenths. Half of 6 times 10 will be 6 times 5. What is half of 60? That's 30. So if we just do that every time, we can get the right answer. It helps if this is an even number because half an even number is a whole number. What about a harder one? Supposing the question was 9 times 5, how would you work out the answer? Well, we can do the same thing. What is 9 times 10? 9 tens are 90. What's half of 90? That is harder. You have to think a bit more carefully. Half of 9 will be 4 and a half because two fours are eight. So four and a half will be four tens of 40. Half of 10 is five is 45. There are a number of other ways to think about it, but it's always going to come back to two fives make 10. 